to my wife, I've been constantly thinking about what our life together will look like. And literally as I was writing this, I realized it doesn't matter what it looks like as long as we are together. Love of my life, today is the best day ever. Today is the most important day of my life because I get to marry the man that God has made just for me. I've dreamed about you, or more accurately, thought of you since I was three years old, before I even knew what true love was. Now that I have found true love, I also realized that I shortchanged myself. Little three-year-old Jermaine didn't have the capacity to see the possibility of being with someone as amazing, intelligent, caring, passionate, <laughs> and so many other things as you are. Thank you for being my rock. Thank you for inspiring me to be a better person. I can't wait to see you suited up, waiting for me to begin the rest of our lives as one. I can't wait to go through all of life's journeys with you. With that in mind, I bought you and us... <laughs> These maternity pants? <laughs> a few things to stimulate that big brain slash head of yours and to plan for some of the next steps in our life together. I'm so excited for our baby's first baby. Out of all the love stories, I know ours is my favorite. Love you. See you at the altar. Love your wife. With all the love a man can have for his wife, your husband, Daniel LeVar Landfair Sr. I guess he wants a junior. And that's it. Thank you, love. First and foremost, I thank God for allowing us to cross paths. I always believed that there was a God, but you, my love, were my confirmation. Only God can make someone like you. You are the manifestation of 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8 in the flesh. Love is patient and kind and does not envy, and does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps records of no wrongs, it always protects, trusts, hopes, and perseveres. Love never fails. So those who know me well know that I don't give out promises. Those who know me extremely well know that the reason I don't give out promises is because when I do promise something, I would do everything humanly possible to make it happen. The main reason that is, is because I don't want to promise something and see the disappointment in the face of someone I care about when I fail to make that promise happen. I only say these things to impress upon everyone here the significance of the promises that I make here to you today. You came into my life and filled a void in my soul. I didn't even know it was empty. You have loved me in ways I didn't know I needed to be loved. The last four years we have spent together have been some of my happiest and I'm thankful to you for that. I love your kindness. I love your do the right thing personality, your empathy for others, your loyalty and understanding. I love the way you love your daughters. I love the way little Germanio comes around to play with little Gemsley sometimes. I love the way your presence comforts me and makes me feel safe. I just love you. You are deserving of everything that a man can provide for the woman he loves. So my first promise to you is to provide for you in all the ways that I am able to. Your sweet, huge heart that has known so much hurt and disappointment deserves to be nurtured. So my second promise to you is to help you tear down those walls that you have built to protect your heart and to help provide the environment it needs to repair itself and to grow and to be as large and welcoming as it was meant to be by God. The little girl inside you, yeah, as y'all can see, see our, our kids come out and play a lot. So the little girl inside you who has been beaten down and overlooked deserves to come out and be protected and loved. So my third promise to you is to have little Jermaine, little boy and me, come out to play with little Jimsy as much and, and often as possible and to keep her as safe and nurtured as humanly possible. I promise to be your light and a source of strength when you need it. I promise to stand beside you through ups and downs, and if at any point you cannot stand, I will stand for you. I promise to be your life partner when things are good, when they are bad, 
when you are healthy and when you are sick. But to keep you healthy, I have to nag you to keep up with your doctor appointments or make them for you. <laughs> I promise to respect you and title you need as the head of our household. I promise to continue believing in you and supporting your goals and dreams. I promise to protect your heart. I know that allowing me in wasn't easy for you, but I appreciate the privilege to love you and to be loved by you. I promise to be loyal and faithful. I promise to continue nurturing our bonds so that it remains intact, sacred, and unbreakable. I promise to let little German you pinch little gem <laughs> when you feel like playing so that we may continue to have fun together. I promise to love and protect your daughters as if they were mine. I promise to make sure you always have lemon popsicles in the freezer. <laughs> I promise to strive every day to be a good wife, friend, and hopefully a mother to our future children. I was a little late to be your first, but I am prepared to be your last. I love you with every cell in my body. My last promise to you is a promise to be open to making new promises. Because this is not it. I can't tell you everything that I want to do for you in these minutes that we have allotted to us today. I, I want new things to be able to promise to you in the future. Like I said, I want to be open to making new promises as life will always bring about new situations that we will face together and have to adapt our relationship to, to help it keep going. With these promises, I say this to you, with my entire mind, body, and soul, I am wholeheartedly committed to you and to building the new and next lit generation of land fairs. To the greatest heights God has seen fit for us to reach. I love you, my wife, and I always will. Let's do this. of two people who genuinely love each other and are determined to make things work. They changed priorities, made time for one another, and learned to love each other like no other. This is the type of love you find once in a lifetime. Over the last 16 years, I've watched and learned from a person who has taught me it's all right if you wait until the last minute to book your hotel room, despite the fact that Yam has set up a beautiful website months in advance for us to book our rooms. So we end up staying next door to the actual hotel picked out for the wedding party. I do have to say though, Dr. G, just how lucky you are. You will leave here today with a wife who is caring, compassionate, trustworthy, and a wonderful friend. Gemsley, my soul sister. How lucky you are as well. You will leave here today having gained a, well, a lovely dress and a beautiful bouquet of flowers. But for real, G is the brother you want to have around you, the father you want to lead you, the doctor you want to save you, the type of man that we all strive to be. Everybody, I want y'all to toast it up to Jim and Jemiah, y'all will have a blessed and fruitful marriage.